At the end of each month, I go over in full transparency on how well my automated trading systems are performing. Are they making money or are they losing money? In today's video, we're gonna be going over November 2023 and how well my automated trading systems performed. Before we get started, hello, my name is Jacob Amaral. I build and code and trade my own automated trading systems on the futures market to make a return with my own capital. If you wanna learn more about how to build automated trading systems, how to code trading bots, or how to run them, see the links in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so let's go over November, 2023. I have my NinjaTrader account set up here. I'm gonna to go to performance. Let's do last month, which was November 1st to November 30th, 2023. And it go. And after commissions and slippage, we made $52,151.44. This represents just above a 0.5% return on the portfolio. So overall, pretty, pretty solid month. We had a 52% win rate on trades, had a $229 expectancy. That means per trade on average, we made $229. Paid over a thousand commissions, made 234 total trades. And you guys know I trade futures, so the number of contracts we traded for the month was 1,258. There's some of our stats for the month. We actually hit a peak in the middle of the month around the 20th and gave away some gains the rest of the month as well. So feels good to cut our two month loss streak. We had a seven month win streak from March to August and then September and October we both lost. And November was great to have a another win month and kind of catch or stop that 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 two two month loss streak. Now we did size down this month and we actually added capital to the portfolio as well. So we made a little bit less than we should have if we stayed the, the size that we wanted to. But nearing the end of the year, we wanted to keep more cash in the account uh, because as they say, cash can be a position. And we just wanted to lock in some of our returns for the year. So let's talk about uh, the charts for that month. So I will pull up, uh, let's do, these are some of my systems right now. So November was a pretty trendy month and that's, I think why we did pretty well. Uh, we can see this is uh, NASDAQ futures. Uh, we saw a pretty good trend movement during the month. I mean, a lot of days where we gapped up and continue higher. And with, I believe the 10th being our best day. See gap up here. Yeah, this was our, definitely our best day for the month. But we see this gap up here and the trend continued the rest of the day. So that's what, you know, most of my systems do well, right? When you see those types of trends. And I, yeah, that's why we made money. I mean, I've definitely been working on adding more mean reversion type systems. So if we gap up going short, which is a bit tougher on indices, if we gap down going long, which does seem to work a lot better, but November was a much smoother month compared to uh, October and September, where you can see there's a lot more chop, no real lower lows or higher highs. So very happy with the results. Obviously the percentage return has been, I think our lowest of the year, but a green month's a green month. And as far as December, I'm, I'm definitely optimistic. I mean, from my modeling, we make money in December as well. So uh, excited for that to continue and maybe get a nice, nice little monthly win streak continuing, you know, to go from a seven month win streak to back to the seven month win streak to a lost month did hit more ego quite a bit. But, uh, you know, I think I got a little bit too greedy and just, you have to expect that you're going to have up and down months. So as far as my weaknesses with the portfolio, like I said, I'm, I'm adding a couple more mean reversion systems. So looking for not as high of a Sortino metric, but more on negative correlation, especially intraday. And, uh, so we've added, I think four systems now that are more mean reverting and all have, all have negative average correlation, which is. I'm excited to see. So yeah, excited for that. I'm glad to be 
uh, ending the month green and definitely the year green for sure. Uh, however, I hope December we, we end green as well, just to, you know, the more money, the better. So anyways, that's the video. I hope you find value in these transparent transparency videos, just trying to be genuine and kind of showcase what it's like, uh, running automated trading systems legitimately and, um, the ups and downs that can occur. So if you do find value in the video, please hit the like button. That would help me a lot. It would help the algorithm, uh, push my videos more and leave a comment below. Uh, if you find these videos interesting and how you did well as well for November, that's all. And we'll see you guys next week. Peace guys.